The first lab that we're going to be doing in Pivot is going to be the Intermolecular Forces and Surface Tension Lab. The first thing they're going to do is just kind of show you here in the Pivot Interactive Stories how the lab works, what they're actually doing in terms of the experiment. And then you're going to go down to the video here where you're going to do the experiment. So I've got some advice on doing that. So the first thing is that you're going to take and make it full screen. It just works a little better when it's full screen. You're going to have pentane here. And when you've got your pentane here, you're going to, and I'm taking mine off full screen just so I can get to things. And I'm going to press the play button. So I'm just going to take and we're going to do the experiment. Now the experiment is they're taking and putting a drop of a liquid into a micrometer. And they're just opening the micrometer to see um, how high the surface tension is for this liquid. Now that is going to be how well this liquid is stuck together, which we know depends on the intermolecular forces. So you're just going to keep playing here. Now at some point you can see that the liquid is about to break. My advice at that point is to use these back and forward arrows, which give you just little steps so that you can get just to the point where it's breaking or about to break. And then what you're going to do is you're going to record the distance between these plates at that point. So to do that, you're going to click up here. This is your toolbar. Get familiar with it because it's going to have what you need to um, do the measurements in this experiment. When you click on this, it's going to give you a ruler. I pull it in so I can just see a little better and just measure the distance between here, between the um, bottom and the top plate of the micrometer. And here it's on the order of about 2.85 or 2.9 millimeters. And then when you're done with that one, you're just going to go and select the next liquid here, which is octane. You're going to press go on this one, hit play, and it's going to do the same thing. Now, now your ruler is up so you can see what's going on. And you notice here it's right at the spot it was before, but it hasn't broken yet. So it immediately tells us that octane is more viscous than pentane. Click the little um, slow increase on the this little arrow here and keep doing this until again it, it breaks. And that is going to be what we're going to use for a measure of our surface tension. It's going to take its own sweet time to do this. We know we're right about there. We can just see Maria here in the background. That's Marie Curie. And if we go up here, it's about 3.4 millimeters. So a distinctly um, further distance apart, which tells us it's higher surface tension. And we stop and we look at that and we realize, okay, well, pentane is a smaller molecule than octane. And because it's a smaller molecule, it is going to have a lower molar mass than octane does. And we know that the dispersion forces, and these are hydrocarbons, and they're only going to have dispersion forces. We know that dispersion forces depend directly here on the molar mass. And as the molar mass goes up, the dispersion forces go up. And equally, the intermolecular forces are going to go up, which means the surface tension is going to go up. And that's what we've measured here. What you're going to do after this is you're going to write down these measurements. And then you're going to go on to the next thing. And we're going to say, hey, why is this happening? Why does this make sense? And then you're going to go and do the rest of these. And you're going to change your... Uh, molecules and look at things with hydrogen bonding. You're going to look at some water. And when you're done, you're going to be at the very end here. And it's going to be an option. And you're going to submit the lab. And there's going to be a submit button at the bottom. I can't do that because I'm not, I'm not a student. I'm a teacher. But you'll have a submit button. And that's it. And that's how you're going to do the lab.